Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Yesterday, this side of the House made clear that the SNP stands united against the Russian invasion of Ukraine, and this needs to be included with tougher and stronger sanctions. But as the Chair of the Foreign Affairs Select Committee rightly said, we should not be waiting for Russia to attack others to clean up the corruption and Russian money which has been fueling in the UK. Under the Tories, a sewer of dirty Russian money has been allowed to run through London for years. I went to the Prime Minister, the then Foreign Secretary, in 2017, and I raised the issue of limited partnerships, 113 of which have been used to move $20.8 billion out of Russian banks. Corruption on an industrial scale. Why did the Prime Minister do nothing back then? And why is he still doing nothing now? Prime Minister. Uh, Mr Speaker, that I, I, I'm grateful to him. He's, you know, he's, uh, I, I think that uh, he, he was right to come to me then, and uh, I've always enjoyed uh, talking to him, as, I, as I've told him many times. I think he's right on, on the issue. We do need to stop corrupt uh, Russian money in London and every other financial capital. That's why we've already taken uh, the steps that we, we have taken, but we are going much further to uncloak the, the true owners of Russian companies and uh, Russian properties uh, in this country. And, uh, and high time, Mr Speaker, no country is doing more than the UK to tackle this issue. In Blackford. Mr Speaker, that meeting was five years ago and I offered to work with the Prime Minister five years ago and nothing has happened. The truth is that Russian oligarchs who give the right people in power a golden handshake have been welcomed into London for years. Their activities weren't stopped. They were encouraged. And plenty of these golden handshakes just so happened to find their way into the coffers of the Conservative Party. <laughs> Mr Speaker, £2.3 million, pounds, in fact, yep. since the Prime Minister took office. A leading American think tank has publicly raised concerns, and I quote, about the close ties between Russian money and the United Kingdom's ruling Conservative Party are a block to stronger sanctions. Yep. How can our allies trust this Prime Minister to clean up dirty Russian money in the UK when he won't even clean up his own political party? Will he finally commit, finally commit to giving up the £2.3 million his party has raised in from Russian oligarchs? Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, I, I just think it's very important for the House to understand uh, we do not raise money from uh, Russian oligarchs. Uh, people who... Get, People who give money to this, to this, to this, they, they are, they, we raise money uh, from people who are registered to vote on the UK Register of Interest. And that is, that is how, that is how we do it, Mr Speaker. And I think, I think his indignation, uh, his indignation is, I'm afraid, uh, a, a bit much coming from, uh, coming from somebody uh, whose very own Alex Salmond uh, is a leading, is, is a leading, a leading presenter a leading presenter, on, as far as I know, on Russia today, which the, which the leader of the opposition has just called on this country to ban. 